we follow Buck, and there's three main <laughs> chapters. He's a, a California house dog, and then he is stolen and sold into what is the, the Yukon Gold Rush. And we play a couple of mushers who are delivering mail. And we end up working with Buck on our dog sled team. And uh, hijinks ensue. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, the final chapter is um, Buck and, and John Thornton. And they're uh, sort of uh, sp a more sort of spiritual, I would say, uh, friendship that blossoms. How was that? Did I do it? Perfect. 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 <laughs> and can you briefly describe each of the characters you play in the film? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, I play Francoise, and uh, and and we're mushers. 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 Uh, we did ring males, and I play Perro. Um, mais oui. Mais, mais oui. Um, uh, Francoise's partner and. Um, and uh, rewriting sled with a lot of dogs, and um, and uh, Burke is one of them. Uh, Which first, Francoise isn't like was, totally sold about yeah, at but, first. But at the end, uh, Burke is uh, uh, just um, one of the dog, and he he will become <laughs> the alpha, the lead dog. So so I think um, in Burke's journey, we are the almost the parents, yeah. you know, and uh, we give him the confidence. To become uh, who we, a white dog because yeah. Buck is is the junior the, the movie is the junior um, it's a, it's Buck's journey and uh, he will become he's a domestic dog and he will become a wild dog almost a wolf and uh, and I think and we just like help him on his journey exactly as it turns out exactly we don't realize that of course at the time we're just delivering mail exactly going about our business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> And how is it for each of you working opposite a man doubling as a dog? Working opposite Terry Notary was one of the most delightful parts of this process. For sure. He's a master. He's, he's such a master, a, yeah. He's a, and, uh, and he wasn't, yeah. I think he's, was, he's the best guy for that because yeah. I, I cannot see how you can do that um, very seriously with, with, with that amount of fun without him. I don't know if... It would be some, someone, else, someone else, I think. I can't even imagine. Yeah, it was, would be weird, or I don't know. It was, it, it was, it's not something common, you know? No, he so, brought this soulfulness and this, this energy, a sense of joy. He's like a very nice person and easy, also. And easy to do because it, yeah. and, it and, and, and everybody knows it's not. And uh, I don't know how we make that that easy. So it, he, he was very, very helpful. I think it's... He's the best partner for that. Great. And then, what do you think this film has to offer today's movie audiences? I think that this movie has this incredible sense of reverence for nature, beauty, wonder, joy, uh, a sense that anything is possible. Uh, yeah, I think there's so much in it. There's so, so, so much it's in it. it. There is a lot, but I think mostly it's the, the, the movie is a, it's a wonderful um, journey. It's, 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 it's also a very beautiful um, traveling, you know, and adventure. Uh, with, with adventure. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's a lot of that. And uh, I think it, it, we're going to, and the people who um, love dogs will like connect with a very, very special dog. And then, so why do you think it's important? Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you think it's important for audiences to see this film in a theater? Oh, I think that if you can definitely see it in the theater, the VFX team has done an incredible job of creating these gorgeous vistas. There's something. There's an element of fantasy yeah. in in the storybook so portrayal of how gorgeous this film is. Truly, it is one to watch on a big screen. I, I, I it's beautiful.